Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. All right, guys, here it is. The massive unboxing I've been waiting for. And this literally has my address like all over it. And I'm lazy when I edit, guys. I don't like blurring things if I don't have to. <laughs> So I'm just gonna open it like this so I don't have to blur it. Let's see if this ends up being a white decision or not. A white, a wise decision or not, geez. He's a racist, he's a racist. I've gotten that before in my chat, guys. When I did the video with Yankee Silver uh, stacking and he has the AOK -okay symbol, someone's like, your dog whistling white supremacist. It was so stupid. Oh my. Oh, guys, this is heavy. Okay. I wasn't sure what this is, but I, re I remember what this is now. Oh, mama. Oh, yes. And you know what's interesting, guys? Provident Metals stopped including the money receipts, and they started including packaging receipts with no value on them. I'm starting to think that Provident started doing that and change the name from Provident Machine Bearings because maybe if someone in the shipping or somebody was onto them and they're probably getting, this is just me guessing, but I think they're probably getting a lot of orders started to get stolen, so they've changed all that. That would be my guess. So that way if someone's gonna open it, they don't know how much it's worth. That'd be my guess. But again, if you guys remember from the other video, a couple videos, I had a $2,000 order go missing from them. And my order went missing, it left for shipping it was never found again. It didn't have any more scans. So it was like the first carrier lost it. I don't know. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I was forgetting what this was. Oh no, guys, look, I cut into the box. That was such a freaking close. Oh, maybe I didn't cut in the box. Oh, you guys, the box broke because it was so heavy, the internal box. You guys, this is something I've wanted for so long but I never did it because of the premium. But in the last video I was talking about, if you wait long enough, the things you want will go on sale. Well, it wasn't the Welsh Dragon that went on sale. It was this 100 ounce bar that I've been wanting to get for so long. Are you ready? Let's count down together. Three, two, one. You guys already know what it is. What is it? <sighs> Sweet mother of God. <laughs> 999 fine silver 100 troy ounce angle hard guys this is such a cool um retro bar and this is my first one you guys i did not know that was beveled like that okay what i can tell you is these corners are pointy oh man it's sharp you drop this thing on your foot you're having a bad day oh look so these edges are beveled and these aren't interesting Whew. 100 ounces, guys. We're gonna have to weigh this puppy and make sure someone didn't shave off some silver. The heck, just kidding, I doubt. I doubt it, Providence really good. Anyways, guys, 100 Engelhard ounces to stacking. For those of you guys who don't know who might be new to stacking, there's several names that are classics in the game that have been in it for a long time. They have a lot of old retro bars that command a way higher premium. Usually this commands a way higher premium. I'll put the price somewhere here that I got it for. I believe I got it for like close to spot. It might've been spot price for 44 cents over spot, something crazy. And I believe it was when spot was in the 14s. So I waited for years to get this and I finally got one at an amazing price. But yeah, what I was saying is some of the older companies are Engelhard is a famous one. Johnson Matthews is a famous one. Silvertown is even a famous one. They have some old famous bars. Um, if you look around, there's a lot of cool older type style companies and if you can get a deal on those bars they're always going to command a premium look at this thing does does anyone any of you guys have this bar if so what do you think about it wow look at that it almost looks like freaking like when you cut wood can we tell the age is there a dendrochronologist in the chat just kidding the side looks like it's like stacked up that's super cool Look at that, that's really cool. Man, this thing is heavy, holy moly. 
100 ounces and pounds, I'm not sure. So let's see, there's 34.15 ounces in a kilo. So this is over three kilos. A kilo is 2.2 pounds. So this is over 6.6 .6 pounds. So it's seven or 10 pounds. I don't freaking know, it's heavy. Woo! But I think what makes it so heavy is it's you know, so condensed. This is a 100 ounce bar, but again, it fits in my hand. You know, back when I first started stacking and first started unboxing, <laughs> bars and stuff were so much smaller than I thought they'd be. I'm like, what the heck? But that's because on the video, they all look huge. Anyways, guys, I'm super happy right now. A hun that's a quick 100 ounces. And not just generic, because this is generic silver, but for me, this is premium silver because of the collector's value in it. All right, guys. Hmm. What should we say? Catch you on the next one. Woo.